All right, so let us talk about it. Um, yeah, so that was a cool episode. Um, very cool episode, to say the least. Um, I liked it. I liked the episode a lot. Um, episode two is so much better than one. Mind you, episode one was supposed to set up the series and to kind of set some things in motion. I mean, that inter- that that deal that was that that scene with Tommy and and the chief inspector man. Very great scene. Everything about it was awesome. Even though we already know the chief inspector wasn't gonna go along with it, you know, he just. Give the guy what he wants. Make him think that everything is cool so that you can make him move behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure that Tommy doesn't believe a word that coming out of that guy's mouth. But at the same time, like, you got to see what's going on. I mean, the situation with Ada, um, I'm glad that we're seeing characters with character development. I think it was a dumb move for Freddy to stay. I think that was dumb. Um, I think he should have just took Ada and just, just go, you know what I'm saying? Um, make it be something that they come back maybe two episodes later and be like, um, they found us over here or something like that. But I think just for story wise, I think for, for story, this is the best way to go well written. You get what I'm saying? But from my expectations, I would want them to leave just for Ada's sake, for Ada's sake, you know what I'm saying, for her sake, I would want him to leave, but for story-wise, I think it's good that they made him decide to stay and, you know, say he's not afraid of Tommy or whatever, whatever, it makes it more interesting, so I'm down for that, um, definitely, man, Tommy really showed up in this episode, much respect to him, I don't know what he's up to, um, I don't know what he's up to with Billy Kimber, but he got something planned that we don't know about because every move that Tommy makes is very strategic. And that's, that's what I like about him. Um, as I've said before, like he's my favorite character at this moment. Um, still formulating to see who's my favorite character in the show. But right now in the show, inspector, the, the chief inspector, most interesting character, and 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 Tommy is my favorite. Like I like seeing Tommy. He's in pretty much every scene. Um, so it's hard not to like him. He's so gangster. He's so and you can see that he has some knowledge that a lot of people don't know. I know his aunt gets on him a lot on Paul, right? I know she gets on him a lot about things, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like I just like how he moves, you know what I mean? Aunt Polly is just the, is, is is big mama. You got to respect Big Mama, you know, even though you a gangster, and you're the leader of the gang, you still got to respect mommy, you know what I'm saying? So I, I dig that. So she gets on him about certain things, but she doesn't, there's certain things that he's trying to do that she doesn't understand. Like, that was pretty cool that he reached out to Freddie and let him know, listen, you got my sister pregnant, come get her out of town, you just can't stay here. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty, he went a bit further than I expected him to. Um, the situation between him and, um, what's her name? I, I don't know her name, the spy girl, um, that relationship. All right. This is my prediction for this relationship. My prediction is that this girl is going to fall in love with Tommy and not going to report him. I've s- don't let me know if I'm right. I don't think I am, but I like to make predictions early on in shows. Sometimes I'm right. At, le- at least most of the time I'm right because I'm used to um, um, story um, story writing, screenplays. I'm used to stuff like that. And most of the time it's very, very hard to surprise me. It's very few authors. It's very few writers out there that can really fool me to a certain point because I pay attention to a lot of things. And the way how this relationship is shaping up, it's shaping up to be one of those relationships in the show where um, where her intention is to spy on him. 
right? Her intention is to spy on him, but she, I think she's going to fall for him, understand what he's been through, why he's the way. She's probably get, you know what I'm saying, get get a taste of the of the gangster life and and likes it and become a really and become a real character in the show. But hey, I I could be wrong. They may surprise me. I don't really um you know stories surprise me all the time, um. But it is it is a hard thing to do because I really do predict shows and I get tired of them. I'm telling you, there's a lot of shows that I stop watching that is going on for seasons upon seasons. And I'm like, man, just get to it. I know you're gonna get to it, <laughs> you know. So it's it's crazy sometimes, but it does happen. But I'm definitely loving this show. I can see definitely why you guys wanted me to watch this um, show so much. Some pretty interesting stuff that happened. Him having to kill the horse because they cursed it. The whole scene with the Lee brothers, that was pretty dope, um, dope too. Um, I don't know what, what language was the guy speaking to them? Like I was trying to figure out what lang was, what language was that? That's not a. That's not any language that that I've ever heard before. It doesn't sound. It sounds weird to me. It just sounds like nasty, weird. <laughs> it just sounds weird. Uh, maybe you guys know what language that was. I don't know what language it was that the um the guy that was trying to get the horse to Tommy, um that was trying to you know mediate between him and Lee's. Elise or whatever I don't know what language that was you guys can let me know that in the comment section but I hope you guys are enjoying these reactions man this is the first time you see me react what I'm planning to do on this episode I'm actually gonna go back and put this in the beginning of the episode okay so I'm recording this at the end but just in case you guys watch the end of this um I am planning to do just the highlights of the episode on the channel, okay? And then you guys can watch the full reaction on um, off of YouTube, okay? If you choose so, you want to watch the whole me sitting here for, you know, 50-something minutes watching the show, no breaks. I'm going to start putting that separately as I've done before, but I, I had, had edited it before, so just the highlights for you guys um for peaky blinders i'm i'm probably gonna do that for the walking dead too just so you guys can just go watch the some the watch and get the full experience somewhere else because i can't i can't keep doing this with youtube youtube i'm just gonna find a way to put different content that works for youtube um on youtube you know what i'm saying other than that i'm just gonna try to find a better place a better way to put to put things okay so thank you guys for watching as always and um if you subscribe thank you for subscribing based on the show okay hit that notification bell leave a like on this video also leave a comment on this video i would really appreciate it it helps the channel to grow guys i can't stress this enough how much likes comments just overall interaction with with videos helps the channel to grow because youtube algorithm is people trying to understand it and one of the things that they understand about the youtube algorithm is that if people interact with your videos and your videos are of good length then they will put your videos in front of potential watchers okay so so they put it in their suggested if they watch youtube okay so thank you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in man i man i love you guys so much i didn't think in a million years, I would have 700 subscribers on YouTube. I, I tell you that when I started. I thought even now, three months later, I would still be sitting at maybe 50 to 100 subscribers. So trust me, I've tried YouTube before. Just didn't work out for me. You know, just I wasn't doing this. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought it was just a slow and steady growth. If you're not doing something way outlandish out there, you know, people really not going to mess with you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so thank you guys for watching, man. Thank you for tuning in. Continue to watching the videos on the channel. Of course, since Game of Thrones, most of the people here are from Game of Thrones. Hope you guys check out.
these new series that I'm doing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank all of you guys. Okay. You already know what it is. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.